Hello YouTube, it's time for another edition of the Gravestone Pros with North Country Memorials. Come along with me today, I am heading to a cemetery and we are going to install a bronze plaque onto a stone. So, should be uh, good times, so I'm gonna go pick my dad up. He's gonna come with me today and we'll get that done. got dad here and we are on our way to Watertown now. It is uh, a little bit late. We'll, uh, we'll be kind of fighting a little bit with uh, the darkness here but I think we got enough time to do what we got to do. It shouldn't take very long so I'm hoping we can get everything done. I'm cutting it a little close though so we'll see. But I got a nice bright flashlight down there just in case. Don't forget the duct tape. Dad got the duct tape for me. Yeah. So we're good to go. We'll show you how we use that when we get there the cemetery there is mr carlton stone all right got all my stuff so i got the duct tape i fold it together leave a couple sticky sides here and this is going to be what holds on to the stone so i can get these panels out I'll show it to you over here. So I gotta take those panels and take them out. And this is how we do it. We've got a little suction cup, but once the uh, letters got engraved, there's not a ton of space. So that's what the, uh, that's what the tape's for. All right, so now we measure and get this on here. Measure our distance in. Side, you know what I mean? Okay, that's pretty good. It's a smaller one. Hold my plaque up and double check where my other where my other X. That was fast. Check your mark on your other one. Because there's no room for error as far as. Right, it needs to be just a touch. Here it looks like you're turning it backwards. Yep. So it'll probably go a lot faster now. Right, There's almost the no wiggle. Almost no wiggle room. Yeah, that's the problem with the small. There's no forgiveness. Yep, that blew out a good hole. Did it? Probably an inch and a half. Alright, well. So that'll give you wiggle room on the other end. Here's my... What you looking for? Hardware. Uh, it's all up top. Inside the duct tape. Those won't be, uh -huh. won't be long enough, I don't think. 
direction, so let me see if we can line up. All right. Good thing I brought you. I don't know how I do this with one hand. Beautiful. Looks pretty good to me. Alright, this is going to be an interesting angle. Alright, we got it on there and now we just got to seal the front up. We got her done and on there. Black looks nice. Just how we like it. Off we go. Just did some sandblasting here this evening and was working on some skin frost stones here. Uh, I've never done one of these. I had it designed years ago and never used it. So this is a single person column bearing. It's kind of cool. Excited to be working on that. That's got to be set this weekend. So we got to get it finished up. It's almost done. And here's the other stuff I was working on. Here's some that Jordan has gotten done the last little bit. Look really nice. So, lots of progress being made here in the shop, getting a lot done. Uh, I've been putting in extra hours. Jordan's been working and getting stuff done. So, it's been good. But uh, I'm going to set up, I got to get these all peeled here. So, I'm going to set you up on a little time lapse, let you watch me work on that here. So, I got these all done. Turned out really nice. So, yeah. I think that'll be a wrap for tonight. I'm gonna head home. Stencil is arrived. Love it. We have been busy around here. Tonight, it is um, getting late, but I've been working. Got a whole bunch of markers that I'm working on out here. And got another marker Jordan just got done. So, lots been going on out here. We had a bunch of stones that we just got loaded that are going to be going tomorrow and getting set. Maybe that'll be part of next week's video. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, we've been busy. Lots getting done. Lots of stones have gotten on and off the rollers. We just got a big load of stones. Uh, just came yesterday, and so more and more things are coming. We've got a lot of stones to do. I just counted up. It's about 35 stones I've got to do in the next three weeks before the snow flies. So it's going to be pedal to the metal from here on out. It is time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Gravestone Pros with North Country Memorials. Please leave a like, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of everything. you got to subscribe if you're not. We are only three people away from 100, which is absolutely awesome. And I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that's been sticking around watching the videos. Uh, it's been a blast. It's a lot of work sometimes, but I really do enjoy it. And I love seeing uh, the different comments and knowing that other people are getting a chance to watch and do this. One of the reasons I do this is because I wish there was other monument guys that were doing it because I love YouTube. I love seeing what people are doing and I watch a bunch of different channels, but uh, there's nobody doing what I'm doing. So I thought, hey, what the heck? There's maybe other people like me out there that would like to see what a monument guy is doing day to day. Why not, right? It's uh, always a little different, unique, different things going on. So I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, again, thank you very much and we will see you next time.